took the uh, piece of aluminum that I had got to make the bobbin holders out of and uh, cut two pieces uh, four inches long, uh, sand them on the belt sander to get that brown anodized stuff off and polished them up with some sandpaper. They look pretty nice. Drill a quarter inch hole uh, through the center to uh, mount onto the uh, shaft on each side of the uh, pickup winder, one for counterclockwise and one for clockwise. Then they drilled a hole in the side to meet the hole in the middle, um, 5 32nd hole, which uh, is the proper size for tapping a um, 10 32 set screw hole. Uh, so I got the hole drilled in the side and I took the countersink and just uh, hit the edge of the hole with the countersink just to make it smooth and deburr it and then ran some sandpaper over it makes it nice and smooth. So I'm going to um, tap the hole for the um, 1032 set screw to hold the uh, bobbin holder onto the shaft. shavings. It keeps wanting to slip. That might be why that one was taped onto the package. Well, let's use the uh, Vice grips to hold the tap. Do it that way. That'll work just as good. Three yet, so aluminum's pretty easy to work with. through the hole. You can see the uh, tap coming through the hole there. Just back it back off. Set screw in the hole. Use the Allen wrench to hold it to get it started. Oh yes, moving up pretty good. Just a tiny burr on the inside of the hole there. Let me. Uh, I got a little round file. I'll that out with. 
so that bird doesn't cause a problem. Okay, we're ready to put it onto the uh, shaft now. Slide it on. Try to get it even with the end of the shaft. Tighten the set screw up. Good and tight. Well, we need to back it off just a little bit. Uh, Got to make sure the shaft's not sticking out past it. Cause we use the double-sided tape on the uh, bobbin holder to hold the pickup uh, uh, bobbin on. All right. On there, turns pretty good. I'll do the other one, mount it, and then we'll be ready to uh, make a thing here with a shaft to hold to a couple collars on each side to make a guide. They call it a limiter for when you're guiding the wire back and forth across the width of the um, across the width of the bobbin, so you don't go too far. If you go too far. Uh, to either side it can uh, break that fine 42 gauge wire so I'll uh, mount this other one and then uh, work on the uh, limiter